Hey everybody, wake up and good morning to you. We are here with our family at the Bay Gardens Beach Resort because something exciting will be happening. It is the Beach Sunset Jazz and that's why we are here close enough to the beach because it's going to be an amazing event and it's the first time ever but I'm even more ecstatic to be here with our GM. We have Waltrude here. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing perfect. The fact that my family at DBS is here with us on a sunny day on one of the best beaches on the island. What? they're not to be happy about you know what and I think there's nobody that can deny or argue that but it's all about beach sunset jazz and I know this is the first time you all are bringing this to us to st. Lucia so tell us a little bit about tell us a little bit more about your event okay beach sunset jazz was conceptualized because you know I got up one morning and I said okay jazz is in the air where are st. Lucia's going to be and I said let's look at midweek Midweek in terms Wednesday, um, there's nothing much happening. Uh, we know the weekend, sorry, it's going to be exciting and busy. Mm -hmm. So let me take advantage of Wednesday. And in order to, you know, really capture the name Beach Sunset Jazz, I walked the beach and I said, you know what? This is the perfect place to welcome St. Lucians. And we want to stress on St. Lucians because we want them to be in an environment where they can meet with the visitors. And hopefully we are a family and we can exchange ideas. Now, you know what I'm loving about this too? Just, you know, how it came about. So you woke up, you walked the beach. And this is what I think it really is about because there's so much that's happening. But still for that, you know, we don't take advantage of what is there for us, what is ours. And I know there's a special twist to this too. Guess what? It may sound too good to be true, but it is a free event. So you can come in. There's no entrance fee at all, right? It is absolutely free. And again, it's free because we want St. Lucians to come out in numbers, come and support us, come and listen to local musicians adding a jazz twist to all their songs and serenades. So, you know, I'm excited already. And you know what also has me even more excited? The MC is T.C. Brown. Brown. So you know when you hear that voice alone, that just kind of helps add to the ambience as well. And I know for you all, it's going to kick off about sunset time, hence the name, right? Yes, sunset. Uh, it kicks off at 5 p.m. And we have all our artists line up. And after each artist, there's a segment where we will have a draw. And the draw is for every patron who spends $100 at the food stations, mm -hmm. they get a chance to enter into the draw. And we have resort for the day, um, one night all inclusive, dinner for two, and spa. Spa is all about rejuvenation. It's all about wellness. It's all about health. So the spa plays an important part in this whole beach sunset jazz event right you see so these are just the components that are going to come together to create that ambience and who are our artists because i know we have a really dynamic cast okay our artists for the evening we have rob zai taylor and finesse oh, we have trevor donnelly we have rashad mm -hmm. we have claudia and the naked chords and we close off with c dale Wow. Okay. Now, when I thought it couldn't get better, I think we have a really good mix because we have some seasoned artists and some young and upcoming. So I feel like we're going to have a nice mix of something fresh, something new, something old. I know the ladies love Trevor Donnelly. They go insane over him especially the moms too and we know mother's day, day is, is around the up. corner yes hence the reason you know we were very selective with our artists because we wanted yes and lucians to come out but more importantly we're celebrating moms so we needed an artist that could really relate to our moms in st lucia and our visiting moms good stuff well st lucia so now you know where you need to be so it's going to be happening this wednesday what is our start time 5 p.m because remember it is sunset so we all need to be here so we can get good pictures exactly. you know an exciting event the ambience what else can you ask for i don't think i can ask for anything else so if you miss out it's your fault so 5 p.m come here to just catch the sunset have that ambience great music a sunset we're on a beautiful beach we're here for our family at bay gardens and again entrance is free so you have nothing i feel like no excuse rain sunshine everything is going to unfold magically. Yes, and it is on one of the best beaches on the island, and you're going to be with family. Bay Gardens is all about family, and we wanted to ensure that our family have an amazing time with us. All right, so guys, we will see you there, and we're going to take in a beautiful sunset together. Everybody, 
good morning to you. This morning has returned, and let me tell you, I think by far this is the most comfortable shoot I've ever had. So I have to thank Melissa so much for that. And how are you doing today, love? I'm doing well. Loving our setup, our impromptu set right here at Court Marisol. Yes, definitely cozy, and you feel right at home. And I know that's what Court is all about because it's a major family atmosphere. And there's something really special coming up because you know our day is coming up, Mother's Day. So I'm gonna let Melissa take it away and tell us about what's exciting with Courts. Okay, well, happy Mother's Day in advance to you and to all your viewers as well. We don't want to wait for just one day to show moms we love them. We love you guys all year round. And we just figured, you know, at Courts, we always like to keep it interesting, like to give our customers a different experience when they visit us. So we are actually um, hosting a few activities to commemorate Mother's Day. Started off actually this past weekend in Soufre. We were down at the Soufre branch with an in-store demonstration. And then we're bringing it up on the 12th of May. That's the day before Mother's Day. We'll be at the Marisol Company. Thanks. Fantastic. Now, you know when Court says they have something happening, it's going to be going down and it's going to be exciting. But I know you have a theme as well for it. So tell us about the theme this year. Okay, so for Mother's Day, essentially the theme is give mom what she wants, love, appreciation, and a gift from Court. So of course we have to tie in the Courts because we offer such a wide variety of products and services. You are definitely sure to get something for your mom at Courts. And so we want to invite persons now to take advantage of those deals. All right. So what's going to be first on the agenda? Because I know it starts off with something very different. Of course. Um, at Courts, we do try as much to engage our customers in store with the activities and also online on our Facebook page. So from the 16th of April until April 30th, there was an online competition, a photo contest, where we invited our fans to upload a funny and unique photo of them and their mother. And the top three finalists from that photo contest have been invited. So they will be in store in Marisol Branch on the 12th of May from 9 a.m. and we'll be hosting our first How Well Do You Know Your Mom game show. And now I can only imagine that's going to be very interesting. My son and I feel like that's our our game in the car every day because they're always like, Mommy, what's my favorite food? What's my... So, you know... On your toes. Yes. That's good. That's always a good thing. So I'm very excited <laughs> and the, the response has been great so far. So we are inviting persons to come down. We start at 9. It's going to be the kickoff to a fun-filled day of activities. And, of course, we're going to have the game show set up. We have a lovely host. I'll leave, save that for later. But we will have um, our persons in store taking care and taking having a good time with their mothers in time for Mother's Day. Good stuff. Now you see, and it's one thing I really like as well because, I mean, even for occasions, I mean, Mother's Day is something that is usually celebrated, but if you know occasions that are not hugely celebrated, you guys always find that way, you know, to just bring people in, pull in family atmosphere and just, you know, make it light. Whether it's Christmas, you'll have the cook-off and whatnot. So there's always this element of family and togetherness. And, you know, why did it, why is it so important for courts to just ensure that the customers feel at home here with you all? I think in any company, it's important to keep your eyes on the pulse of the streets. What's happening in, not just in your company, but on the country, what's current. Um, persons are very well informed. Everybody knows what's going on around them. And at courts, it's no different. We do recognize the customers come in to make a purchase, but it will be the whole family. So the child will be there with the mother, the husband sitting on the couch waiting. You know, it, it, it's definitely a dynamic that appreciates and allows for the entire family to take part. So we definitely want to always give the customers a different unique approach to shopping it's not just walking in and going to the cashier and walking back out see what we have to offer learn about the products that we have and of course have fun while we do that so we definitely are going to keep on coming up with new ways to engage our customers and the public in general and of course we just Reminding persons, you don't have to come into the store. You can go onto our Facebook page to see what's happening. We will be live as well with the game show. So if you are online, you can go onto our Facebook page. If you're not able to come in um, to Courts Marathon, you can um, view it live on Facebook. So either way, you are going to be covered. And if you're right here in St. Lucia with us, you know where you need to be. So May 12th, come down right here, Courts Marisol Branch. And it's going to be a fun-filled day for the entire family. And Mel, I want to thank you as well for having us here. And we're looking forward to seeing exactly what's going to be happening on Saturday. Well, always a pleasure. So how well do you know your mom game show? We look forward to seeing you here at Courts Marisol on Saturday.
St. Lucia, good morning to you. I think this is the best start of your morning, the best start of our morning as well. We are here with the official Miss DBS for the St. Lucia Carnival Queen Pageant 2018, Miss Giovanni Joseph. How are you? I feel great. It's a pleasure being sponsored by the number one leading television, DBS. <laughs> Great. Now, I'm just loving her energy, and from here on forward, she is no longer to be called the wild card. That was a myth, a legend, and we are now unveiling her to you. So it's super exciting. And for you, I mean, your story started, it was very different. You know, one of the first differences with the entire journey on the pageant, you know, being a ninth contestant. Yeah. So how do you feel now being given this opportunity to be part of this prestigious pageant? I feel proud. I'm also humbled for the opportunity, and I'm motivated motivated by the confidence in me and my people to perform and deliver. So I feel proud I am. Great. Now <laughs> yeah. what made you want to take part and even, you know, audition to start off with? Can you believe I had a dream? Oh really? I did. I had a dream. I took part in, I auditioned for a pageant and I went through. I was in my swimwear and I'm just, I heard my name. My name was called and I'm like, yay, just jumping up and I went through. So I took the opportunity and I auditioned for this one. Fantastic. Yes. Well, it's nice to see so far how it's going, how it's unfolding. And I know behind the scenes, you all have been doing so much work. So what has the preparations for the pageant been like so far? It's been great. I enjoy gym because I love to be fit. I like to keep the body in shape. So it's been great so far. I'm enjoying every single moment about it. So Giovanni, for you, of course, your journey has just started, but we do want to get to know our contestants. And St. Lucia, just so that you know, we are going to get all of the ladies on here. So this is just the beginning of the series of us getting to know our Carnival Queen contestants. So we're going to start off with Miss DBS and we'll have each and everybody else on the show. So for you, what are some of the things, Giovanni, that maybe inspires you or something that you're very passionate about? I'm very really passionate about social work, mm -hmm. where especially when it comes to youth mm -hmm. and more the youth of my community because we have talent, we have a lot of talent to offer and I find that the youth in Marsha should be recognized for that, right? So what I want to do is to help them develop and show their ability mm -hmm. with a positive impact. So how do you see yourself then being a role model for the youth in your community of Marsha? I see myself as an ambassador to help them mentor and to coach them to be the person they want to be. Great. Now, of course, we do know there's a stigma to the community. And I think if you're any example as well, and there's so many others like yourself just yes. showing that Marsha is more than just what the stigma is. What message would you like to leave St. Lucia with or just let anybody out there know? right now about your community? Marsha, the home of many talents, erase the stigma. Marsha is not a ghetto. All right. Perfect. Now you see, well said, short and to the point, and I think everybody can get that message. Yeah. So Giovanni, is this your first experience in pageantry? Yes, it has been. It is my first pageant. Great. And what do you have to say for anybody as well who probably is considering, maybe not necessarily this pageant, but has the idea of one day getting into pageantry? Believe in yourself and go for it. Perfect. And yes. you know what? Everything is not all glitz and glamour. And of course, this is your crash course in public speaking. And a while ago, well, that was off camera. She was expressing, you know, the nerves and everything. But there's a lot of real feelings and emotions. And just for anybody as well who is getting into something new, because I know you are sharing how you feel just about being on camera as well. You know, just share these real emotions and let them know that they can still do it. Actually, right now, it's nerve-wracking, but I'm trying my best to be confident and stand here, as you can see. So don't let your fear stop you. So there we have it. So now we know a little bit more about her. And like I said, we're going to make this a series. We've started with Miss DBS. Thank you again, Giovanni, for being here with us. And Hi, of course, St. Lucia, make sure you keep your eyes out for all of our contestants, because this year, the Carnival Queen pageant 2018 will be be one that you do not want to miss there you have it saint lucia this wraps up our terrific tuesday together and i know you're feeling the good vibes the good energy and positivity right now i really want to do my best because we have some official making up to do and some belated birthday greetings to some special family members right now i want to start off with some in-house members that we totally missed so better late than never right now we want to say a special good morning and happy belated birthday to one of our news reporters sheffield gillard as well as 
a lady at the helm right here at DBS. We have Miss Anne, you know yourself. Special good morning to you. She was looking like she was 16 yesterday, so we had to make sure we send out those birthday greetings and so much love because we love both of you here at DBS. Now, last but not least, a very, very loyal viewer from day one. This is one of our day ones, and I cannot cannot stress even more on that so mr robert favrier first national bank you know yourself and i blame my mom for this one i didn't get enough advance notice to know so this is your birthday greeting it was over the weekend and i know you lived it up but thank you again for being loyal to us and for management and staff here at dbs we love you as well and thank you for always supporting and being part of this morning so that kind of wraps up our belated birthday greetings and you know what since i'm on birthdays anybody who's celebrating today let me not miss you out as well happy birthday to you and thank you for being part of our family at this morning tomorrow is going to be hub day midweek wednesday so we have a lot to catch up on and help you just hold on until we make it to the weekend so this is the station where you get the good energy good vibes and you got to start it off in the know with your number one leader that's dbs we'll see you tomorrow